Hello everybody, my name is Dendro Mara. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the user rights on the Modicon M241 and the Modicon M251. So, let's go to the software. In this application, I have connection to the Modicon M251. And I have created this visualization to be called in the web visualization under this name. So, at the moment we have the user rights on the controller. So if I try to connect to the web visualization, let me just go here, this one, it asks us for the user password, administrator, by default is administrator administrator on the version 1.2 on the version 1.2 we have the user and, and password by default which are administrator administrator and then you can on the first login you can change the password to a newer one but in the version of machine expert 2. Dot something you can create your user and password okay that's the only difference if i know wrong so let's continue with the software so in this case i have access to the web visualization and it asks us for the user and password but if we don't want to do that okay let's just go back here we have the possibility in the version 2.0 to go online security disable user rights okay You need to enter your credentials, administrator, administrator. Okay, save a cap on the controller. Okay. Read this carefully. Okay, now. This is the web visualization again, so I'm going to enter. And it didn't ask us for the user and password, so let's just open a new screen here. Enter. You can see there is no validation to access. So if we want to reset this, online security enable again restore from the controller backup because all the information that in order to disable okay we have made the backup of the user rights in the controller so we need to restore the information that is stored in the controller so this is what we need to do now so restore do you want to enable again yes We need to use the one that we have used before. Administrator, administrator in my case. Mm -hmm. Okay, now if we go back here, it asks us for the users. Once again, administrator, administrator. There we go. So another way to do this is to go to the just here to the web server of the PLC. You need to enter the IP address. Okay, then you need to go to maintenance, user management, disable the user account management or user rights, I believe in the version 1.2. Disable. Okay, and pay attention here. You need to use the anonymous in order to use the FTP of this web server or the OPC UI servers. Okay. Read this carefully. Command refuse by server. Hmm. Okay, log out. Administrator administrator 
User management, disable, and there we go. Because I haven't entered with the credentials. So now it's a chip. Now, if we go back to the web visualization, there we go. It didn't ask me for the user rights. So we have two ways, one on the software on the machine expert to disable make the backup of the credentials on the controller and then restore it again. And the other one is to go to the web server of the PLC using the IP address that you have configured, enter with your credentials. In my case, I don't know what happened. Probably I have used another ones without any credentials. And then you need to go to the maintenance and make the restore um, disable the user rights in order to get access into the web visu that you want without any credentials. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.